So the title of my talk today is How to Put Yourself in the Equation, in the Center of Your Own Life, and Take Care of Your Health, Your Happiness, Your Dreams, Your Goals, Your Needs. Because the truth is, nobody else is going to do it for you. And it took me a long time to realize I'm really the only one that can change that for me. At the age of 47, I weighed 381 pounds, more than an NFL defensive lineman. I lost 211 pounds, 50, over 50% 50 of my body weight, but the measure I'm most excited about and proud of is I lost 50%, nearly 50% of my body fat. I started at 63% body fat, if you can imagine. These were my pants. Sue and I, who went to boot camp with me, we've actually been in these pants together, two of us. <laughs> Size 3-0, 30. And all of that external transformation doesn't even begin to compare what happened inside for me. The internal happiness, living life as a fit, healthy, happy, fully in the center of my equation, fully in the center of my life, putting my needs first, and still being a fabulous business owner, friend, partner, all of those things, it's possible and it is available to you. Soon I realized I'm not even in the picture of my own life. I don't do anything to take care of myself or my most basic needs. So this really isn't about work, get a job, or build a business. The question is, are you gonna take care of yourself or you're gonna be dead by the time you're 50. It wasn't until I put myself right in the center, and I remember telling my best girlfriends, oh, I'm gonna turn into a selfish bitch. I'm gonna be so self-centered, you're not gonna like me. Because I didn't think it was okay to take care of myself. I didn't think it was okay to put my oxygen mask on first before I help everybody else. But the truth is, it is. For me, Hope walked in the door, and it was the work door, in the form of O'Neill Hampton from season nine NBC's reality TV show, The Biggest Loser. As we got closer, I convinced my clients I actually couldn't do two weeks until my client happened to mention it to O'Neill Hampton, and guess what he said? Yeah, bullshit. You're going. You're just afraid. And you will be there for two weeks. I give you a list of things that you need to bring, and one of them was a swimsuit, and I went, oh my god. There is no way in hell I am wearing a swimsuit. I have not been in a swimsuit in, I don't know how many years, 20 plus. So I was telling my younger sister, and she said, you know, they make swim outfits now. So I bought a swim outfit, and it was pretty cute, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought. You know, I mean, come on. I weighed, when I started, like 360 pounds. So yeah, cute is a relative term, right? <laughs> the thing about fear is, it's never as hard as we make it out to be in our head. Every one of those times in weight loss boot camp and throughout my journey, and frankly throughout my life and my transformation since then, every time I get stopped by fear and I push past it, I realize it wasn't anywhere near as hard as I made it out to be in my head. You gotta go all in. You gotta commit 100% all in. When we got to boot camp, we were asked to set a goal for the two weeks that we were there. Most people set weight loss goals. I did not. Without even thinking about it, I said, no matter, my goal is no matter what, no matter what, I will not quit. I went in saying I can't about 150 times a day. And they kept proving to me that I actually could. It was my head saying I couldn't. It was my physical body could do it. People often ask me who have weight to lose, what did you do differently this time than all those other 50 diets that you were on? It was the head again. I learned that in the past, if I would, I'm gonna go off the plan, right? I'm on a diet for 18 months, so I'm going to have slips and falls. Why? Because I'm not perfect, it turns out. Bummer, I know. But actually not bummer, because I finally really learned that perfection isn't cool. Living imperfectly and embracing who you are is actually way more fun. For me, the big difference is I learned to restart. I learned to say to myself, okay, you had a slip or a fall. You're just human, you know the way, so back on, restart. And I'll tell you, that really works because it makes you feel good and you get some momentum. The life I'm living today is not only the life I imagined, 
I'm not sure I even imagined that I would climb mountains for fun and seek out new mountains and do half marathons and call it fun and ride a Harley. And yes, I found a boy. <laughs> and I was on national TV. And the list goes on and on. I say yes now to almost everything.